in Taiwan, I mean, over the last couple of seasons, week eight has been not the best week for you just because you had those back to back knee injuries. You come out of this game unscathed. So, just individually, how good does it feel, you know, to be able to come out of that and look ahead to the second half of the season healthy? Um, I appreciate you, Raven. Uh, it's, it's, it's been great, uh, as far as, you know, just getting over this, this hump, uh, the storm I, I went through, you know, uh, I knew one day that it wouldn't last forever. Uh, and I'm forever grateful. I cherish every moment of it. Uh, you know, it wasn't a doubt in my mind that, you know, that this was, was going, it wasn't going to go the way I expected. You know, I expected this day to be, I mean, what well, this week to be a great week and moving forward. I just want to continue to elevate my game and, just continue to be the best me I could be and be the best player on the field. Joel? Uh, Taekwon, um, Derek got the ball, Derek Carr got the ball out of his hands pretty fast yesterday. Right. What, from a pass rush perspective, what can you guys do to, is there anything you guys can do to give yourselves more time when, when a guy is like, clearly the game plan for them was, Get it to him and then get his, get it out of his hands fast. Yeah, I mean, cover rush, rush and cover. You know, in order for the whole thing to work, we have to depend on one another. Uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, our job as pass rushers is to get the quarterback on the ground. So when the quarterback does hitch, or if it's play action max, each and every one of us have to win our one on ones in order to capitalize and get a sack. It will get a takeaway. So, you know, we all work together and we're all one on the defense. So four equals one. At the end of the day, we're rushing the quarterback. Uh, Alec, how much how much do you like that you're getting some more catch and run opportunities? I feel like that's – I know the downfield thing was what you did at Cincinnati a lot, but I feel like there were a lot of Cincinnati clips I remember of you catching it and, and getting some yak after it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I love it. I love, um, you know, trying to expand my game. Um, you know, I think I'm versatile as a receiver, and I love that the coach staff is uh, been drawing some things up like that for me to, you know, kind of get some catches that are a little bit more shorter and stuff like that, and allow me, you know, try to make a play. What What do you think your What do you think your style is as a runner? Would you you you, you more uh you more Michael Pittman trying to run people over like a fullback or? Uh, I I don't know. Yeah, he's he's got that running back blood in him, you know, so. I mean, I'm gonna try to be physical like that. I'd, I'd say I'm more of a one cut runner, you know. Try and use that speed, uh, cut, gash the defense, um, but not, you know, definitely like not dancing around and stuff like that. I think I'll get myself in more trouble with that than I would. I would gain from that. So, James, I want to see a crossover because you got basketball blood too. But um, right. <laughs> when you look at this wide receiver room, and Pitt talked about this, he, he thinks that you are commanding more respect. Just um, based off the growth that you've had, Josh is obviously had throughout his rookie season. How do you think you all have kind of grown together throughout these first eight games? Yeah, I agree with uh, I agree with Pitt. You know, I think I think we've definitely kind of started to learn, you know, where we fit in with this offense. You know, how we're going to click together. And obviously, we've had some quarterback changes, so um, just you know, getting comfortable with that and getting comfortable with the system. And you know, I've been kind of happy with. Our, our progress as a room, I think we're building each week, um, getting better. And, you know, we just got – we got a lot more games left this season to continue to do that. And then one quick follow-up, what do you think makes Pitt different? Obviously, you you play the position. You know what a great receiver looks like. Uh, he considers yeah. to be that. But mm -hmm. just seeing it up close every day, what do you think separates him from his peers? Uh, I'd say his competitiveness. You know, I think he's he's a guy that's just incredibly competitive. Um, and that's in everything. Like, it can be in the, in the locker room playing cornhole. Um but yeah, you can just see it in the way he plays, catches that ball. He's going to want to run you over. He does all the tough, dirty work because um, he's just a competitor. He, he wants to win and he wants to do everything he can for the team. 